everyone now for the uh, unsymmetrical faults in the power system mainly we have <coughs> number one single line to ground fault number two we have line to line fault number three line to line to ground fault so these faults are considered unsymmetrical because the voltage magnet the current magnitudes or the current drawn from the system will turn tend to be unsymmetrical so for the line to ground fault is equal to I1 is equal to I2 which is equal to the fault voltage divided by the Thevenin equivalent of the, ze uh, of the zero sequence impedance network and the Thevenin equivalent of the positive sequence impedance network Z Thevenin to the negative sequence and 3 Z F if there is uh, a ground impedance fault also the phase A which is the faulted phase uh, current which is the I would say it phase current faulted current is equal to 3 I 0 which is 3 times the zero sequence network current to find the fault voltages it is always convenient to write it in this form V0, V1 and V2 equal to 0 faulted voltage Vf and 0 minus Z0 and Z1 and Z2 here it's 0, 0, 0, 0 here it's 0, 0 and here it's I0, I1 and I2 this is how to find the uh, sequence network voltages now I, I will uh, give the equations for line to line fault and for line to line fault when two lines of the three phase system comes into contact with each other by a tree branch or what or, or a squirrel or a snake so how to calculate the currents and voltages So, for line to line voltage, I1 is equal to negative I2, which is equal to 1 over Z1 Thevenin plus Z2 Thevenin plus Zf. If there is a fault 
evidence and see the difference here it's 3ZF and here is ZF only and to find the the sequence voltages this is always used to in the three different unsymmetrical fault calculation now for the line to line to ground fault how to find the sequence network currents So this is pretty messy. So I1 is equal to 1 divided by Z1 plus Z2 multiplied by Z0 plus 3ZF divided by Z0 plus Z2 plus 3ZF this is all under the 1 over so now for I2 it's equal to negative I1 multiplied by Z2 divided by Z0 plus Z2 plus 3ZF and for I0 it's equal to a negative I1 multiplied Z2 divided by this is I0 and this is I2 plus 3ZF here is Z0 plus Z2 plus 3ZF and the voltage is the same so to solve such uh, a problem for a single phase or line to line or li face to face to ground faults the the way to solve these problems is first find uh, fault currents Number two, find the fault voltages. Number three, and uh, here the fault uh, currents, which is, I mean, I zero, I one, and I two. He then to find the line currents, which is I A, I B, and I C. So this is the uh, way to solve this, these problems. And now I'm going to move forward to explain the sequence network. So now I'm, I'm going to talk about sequence network. For a sequence network, let's for example assume we have this circuit, this uh, one line diagram. So this is a Y connected generator to a transformer. And then bus number one, transmission line. Then another transmission line. 
to a transformer and then a generator which is Y connected and then to a transmission line to a transformer to a generator Y connected to ground evidence here it's solidly grounded transformer from either sides here is delta and Y solidly ground here it's delta solidly ground and Y connected transformer now the purpose is to convert this one line diagram to to a sequence network and what I mean is to find the positive sequence network the negative sequence network and the negative sequence network a zero sequence network so how we can rewrite this in terms of sequence network first of all I have to know how I can represent this transformer uh, in the sequence networks for the positive and the negative sequence I have no problems almost the same but for the zero sequence I have to be careful about the configuration of the transformers because it will affect the calculation so for a positive sequence network I will have the voltage source E then the reactance of the generator then the reactance of the transformer bus number one then the reactance of the transmission line bus number two then the reactance of the other transmission line bus number three then the reactance of the transformer the reactance of the generators and the voltage source E then from here actually here I, I don't have any impedance so from bus number two the reactance of the transformer the reactance of the generator and then I have E number two here three which is grounded for the negative sequence this is the positive sequence network for the negative sequence I will eliminate this and this and this so it's like I'm having this grounded immediately and here it's grounded and here it's grounded I'll put the uh, numbers here for the generator so for the generator the zero sequence impedance is J.15 uh, here XD is equal to X2 which is equal to 0 0.5 J.5 for the transformer it's J.2 for the transmission line X1 is equal to X2 is equal to J.103 for the zero sequence it's J.25 and here it's X1 is equal to X2 is equal to J.103 and X0 is equal to J.31 
uh, sorry, this is uh, 0083. Here it's J.167, and here XD is equal to X2 equal to J.33, and X0 is equal to J.15. So I will put all these numbers here for the generator. It's said that the positive sequence is J.15. For the uh, transformer, it's J.2. For the transmission line, it's J.103. And here it's J.083. Here it's J.167 and here it's J.33 uh, three. Here is J.143 And here is uh, J.275 for X1 and X2 and for X0, it's J.125, so it's J.275, uh, now the complication come to this example when we want to find the zero sequence network. And to find the zero sequence network, we have to know the configuration of the transformer. For the zero sequence network. So when we have a transformer, and this transformer is Y to Y connection and it has ZN here then it will in the graph it will come like that I mean it will have ZN here Then if I have transformer with this configuration, then the connection will be Zn, but it will be open. Now for transformer with delta configuration, delta to delta, then I'm going to have the following configuration. And if I have transformer with y to delta it's going to be like this and when I have configuration like this z also will hang out up like that and open from here so we will use these things to find the zero sequence network so in our example this generator is solidly grounded 
and connect it to a transformer so I will have the generator impedance which is J point five uh, it's, it's J point one five and then since it's delta it's will be it will be open from here the generator is delta to y and the y is solidly grounded so the the generator will have the following it will be grounded from here and here is the impedance So it's gonna be the zero sequence of the of the transformer is J point two. So J point two. Then we have bus number one, the transmission line. Bus number two, transmission line. The the, the transformer. Before I draw the transformer, I have to look at the circuit. So this transformer is Y connected and it's grounded and then delta connected on the secondary. So it's gonna be the winding of the transformer grounded and then from here the generator reactance and it's grounded because it's Y connected without a ground. So the zero sequence, uh, this the generator is J point one six seven. The the transformer and then the generator is J point one five. For the transmission line here, it's J point three one. Now let's go from bus 2 to the transformer. This transformer is solidly grounded Y and solidly grounded Y on both sides. So it's connected to the generator reactance. And it's J.143. The generator zero sequence reactance is this one, J.125 and finally since it's grounded I'll put here a reactance and a ground and this reactance is the reactance of the, imb the impedance here on the Y connected on the Y connection or the neutral of the generator it's grounded through an impedance which is 0 0.05 0 0.05 and I will multiply it by 3 this is the rule so this is the final zero sequence network of the following system next episode I will solve a full example on such a problem for a line to line ground fault and line to ground fault and line to line fault thank you